In this video tutorial, I want to talk more about the listing setup options for your Premium Press theme. So let's get started. Firstly, log into the admin area of your WordPress website and click on Theme Setup, Listing Setup. You'll notice we have four sections along the top. We have Settings, Custom Fields, Listing Packages and Membership Packages. In this video tutorial, I want to cover the setting options. So click on the Listing Setup options the first one on the list is pricing table. And the pricing table will change the display of the submission form on your website. So let's take a quick look. If we go to our website at the moment, you'll notice the listing packages are on the left hand side and we have the submission form on the right hand side. If I turn on the pricing table option, and save the changes and give the page a refresh, you'll notice now we have packages, listing packages on the main submission form. The user would then select a listing package before they would see the submission form process. So the difference is that rather than going straight to the submission form, the user would first select a package when they um, click on add listing. The next option down is form design. And here we have two options. We have compact layout and full layout. The difference here is that if we have the compact layout, Save the changes. When we review the submission form, you'll notice all of the information and all of the fields that the user is required to enter are separated into small groups to make it easier for the user to see what's going on. If we click on the full layout option, save the changes. Rather than have um, each of the options grouped together, they're all displayed out on one single page. Next down we have visitor submissions and this allows you to decide whether or not you want visitors to come to your website and create listings themselves. If you turn this off, it will require all users to first register before they can submit um, listings to your website. If you turn it on, the submission process will include a small form that will ask the user to enter their username and email address and if they don't already exist on your website, they will be created an account. Next one down we have one listing only and as it says it will simply prevent the user from creating multiple listings. Listing renewals allows the user to renew the listing at any time. The default um, period for a new listing is 30 days unless you use the listing packages or membership packages to create your own listing period. So if they come to your website and create a default listing for a 30 day listing they can renew that at any time which will allow them to pay extra at any time to add on an additional 30 days. And finally under this section we have the minimum description length. And if I show you where this is on the form, this main description for your um, listing here, you'll notice at the bottom it says a minimum of 200 characters. And if I go ahead and start typing, you'll notice this is reduced for each letter that I enter. So the next one down, listing expiry options. The hide expired listing options allows you to um, remove the display of all expired listings on your website. So if you set up a new listing, say for example for 30 days, once that listing um, period has expired, um, that listing will disappear from your website. It won't be deleted, it will simply disappear. So if a user is searching the website, um, they won't find it in the search results but the listing itself will still be accessible if you know the link directly. And this is basically for your Google and search engine options so that you don't get a lot of dead pages. Sable expired actions. What this will do, it will prevent the theme from running any expiry options. So for example, if you have um, a number of different listings and you have an issue with them suddenly expiring, you don't want them to expire, Rather than to worry about your settings or your setup for your website, you can simply prevent the system from performing any expired actions. And you can do that by turning this on. Next, we have attachment options. And this allows you to decide what sort of media a user can upload as part of their listing. So you can allow audio files, document files, video files, 
and the default will always be images. You can set here whether or not you require images to be uploaded. So what this will do, it will prevent the user from creating a new listing unless they add an image. Google Map. The Google Map, if I show you at the bottom of the listing, allows the user to select their location. So they can either enter their a physical address or they can use the map to select where they want um, their location to be set. And this allows you to set some of the default options for your Google Map. We have category and membership access. Again, on the submission form, we can, we can see we have this category form here, so the user can select a category. And as you notice, at the moment I cannot select a parent category, because I've turned that on, disable pet parent category. If however I wish to allow users to select a parent and a, sub and a subcategory, I can simply turn that on and off here. And finally we have this extra price category, which basically means I can set an additional price um, for this category. So if the user selects a category that has an additional price, they will pay extra when they come to check out. A membership access. Here we can set a default membership access for all newly created listings. And this works really with the membership package option that we'll discuss later on. And lastly, we have custom page text. And this refers to um, basically the top uh, of, underneath the title here where it says add listing. If I add my own text, so if I say testing here, click save changes. When I refresh the page, instead of the default text there, you'll notice I have now have testing. So basically it allows you to add your own custom text to the um, add new listing page and edit listing page should you wish to provide any additional information for the user um, when he's creating um, his listing. On the right hand side we have listing status and we have listing approval. The listing status is obviously the default status for a listing that's created. So you could have it active so it goes live straight away or you can go to pending. So what that will mean is the user, um, the admin will be required to check the listing before it goes live. And underneath we have listing approval. And again, this is for the editing of an existing listing. If you enable approval, all um, listings that are edited will go to pending um, for admin review. And if you leave this off, then obviously listings will be um, live straight away after a user has edited. Next we'll talk about custom fields.